Joseph is tired today, dog. Like you, he is hot and his breath moves slow. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll see about that. It's not here. Start talking, old man. Dagger's temper is explosive. And his fuse is real short. There was an emerald arrow. An ancient tribe passed it down from one chief to the next. But the tribe long ago disappeared. The arrowhead has never been seen since. You better tell us where it is, Chief Slow Eagle. Or you'll find there is a snake deadlier than a rattler. Whip on. Oh! I... I passed it on to my grandson. Let's go. Please, don't hurt him. Oh. It was terrible. They used their strange weapons to force me to tell them Daniel had the other half of the arrowhead. Your grandson, Daniel? Yes. Why? Daniel and his mother picked up Scott this morning. They drove to Canyon Creek to go fishing. I'd better hurry. What have I done? Select the mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected. Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Vehicle code name, Rhino. The, the biggest one yet! You're supposed to be catching fish, T-Bog, not tin cans. What are you doing, Scott? Shh! Here comes one! Got him! I haven't even had a nibble. Here I come from a long line of great Indian chiefs, but I can't even catch one fish. Hey, don't feel bad. I hardly ever catch any fish. Today I was just lucky. Maybe, but a lot luckier than me. At least you caught some. Here, I want you to have half. And I want you to have half of what I caught, too. I want to show my friendship. It's so beautiful. It's a tradition in my tribe. 
between friends. You can wear it until the setting sun. Wow, thanks. And I'll take good care of it. And according to old Indian legend, the other half of the arrowhead was lost over a thousand years ago. Lost all that time? It's curious. Where could it possibly be? Maybe in an old Indian couch. <laughs> <laughs> but an emerald arrowhead wouldn't be worth more than a few thousand dollars. Venom doesn't bother with anything less than a million. It matters not what a key is made of, so long as it opens the lock. That's it, Bruce. The arrowhead must be the key to something far bigger. Hmm, something much bigger. A canoe? Dusty, sometimes I think you've got an empty teepee. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, Venom's got to be stopped. And fast. Right. Wow, I feel just like a brave Indian warrior. You look more like a plucked turkey. Can it, T-Bob? It's the Indian boy, all right. That arrowhead will lead me to the biggest prize of all, the Star Chariot. Move in. Oh! Then you go evil. Stop. What do they want with me? I'll get him. Whip on. Tiva, radio dad and tell him we're in trouble. Hurry! Get off my antenna, you silly frog. You're fouling up my signal. The emergency frequency. Huh? We're in big trouble. Yay! Go get him! I'm going for Scott's bed. You're covered, Matt. We'll keep them busy. Lift up! On! Good work, Bruce. Now, watch me give Vanessa a flip-flop. Aura, on! Ooh! Oh! Oh! Yee-haw! Time to book that bronco! Backlash, on! We'll have a better chance of losing him if we split up. Good. Tiger, get that kid. Let go of me. I don't get it. He took Scott instead of Daniel. I've got to stop Dagger. No, you don't. I'm putting Thunderhawk on autopilot. Stepping out for some fresh air. Spectrum hang glider, on. Ah, trying to sneak up on me. Too bad. Just when I was thinking of going on a little spin. Spectrum hang glider, on. Mom! They're after Scott! Who is after him? Daniel, quick! I can't shake him. I'll divert their attention. I'll get the fire extinguisher. No, Daniel! Stop! Daniel! Daniel! Oh. Oh. 
Great stars of Texas! It's no use. The fire extinguisher isn't good enough. Help! Then you'll be there. We can't get through the flames. They're too high. Not for me. Daniel! <laughs> Thank you, whoever you are, for saving my son. <laughs> I I'm okay, Mom. I'm, I'm fine. Wow, those are great masks. I didn't know the fire department had that kind of stuff. They don't. We are not from the fire department. Where's your arrowhead, son? How'd you know about my arrowhead? John Slow Eagle told a friend of mine he gave it to you. I let Scott wear it. Scott? So that's why Venom went after Scott. Hey! Ribbit. Ribbit. Scott's in trouble! Ribbit. Let me go! Let me go! Shut up! At last! It's taken me ten years to find the other half of the arrowhead. According to the symbols on this ancient Indian tapestry, the emerald arrowhead will point the way to the star chariot, an alien spacecraft buried beneath the desert a thousand years ago. We've got all the vehicles we need. Maybe, but this vehicle has something you lack, intelligence. The intelligence of a civilization millions of years beyond Earth. A ship that came from so far away must have an incredible propulsion system. I'll adapt it for an unbeatable new generation of Venom vehicles. I've located Venom. They're moving south on Highway 770, straight for the Mesa Verde National Park. Bruce, I want a chance to check out the park before they arrive. Think you can slow Venom down, then meet me there? Don't worry, Matt. A wounded rabbit makes the full fox hungry. Wounded rabbit? Rubbish. By Jove, I'm the strategic expert around here, and I say we set up an ambush. That's what Bruce just said, Alex. We should reach Mesa Verde National Park within the hour. Heads up. Looks like an accident. Well, it appears our masked friends have had a little mishap. Prepare to take on another prisoner. Now! Down. Uh. Looks like we caught ma'am unaware. <laughs> Go get him, Mask. <laughs> Roll off your attack. I wouldn't want that fine young boy to get hurt. Don't worry about me. Blast them. Dusty, Gloria, pull back. The fox has eaten the rabbit. Pointing at those cave dwellings. will be able to stop me once I possess its power. Never will, Mayhem. You! Dad! 
One step closer and you'll regret it. Whip on. Ah! Uh, on! Scoff! Dad! you this tea bob but you're not alive oh uh, i forgot we'll be crushed don't give up so easily fool sniper fire Opener for Venom. Rhino's ultra bright. Uh, I can't see. Fly this thing out of here. I can't see the control. The light's too intense. I can't stand it anymore. Not for long. Spectrum on. We're trapped. I'm going to personally see that you spend the rest of your life behind bars, Mayhem. Sorry, not this time. I'll be back for the Star Chariot. You can bet on it. Matt. Venom will pay for what they did to Scott. <sighs> did somebody call me? Scott, you're alive! Of course I'm alive. And did I ever have a weirdo dream? T-Bob and I were hit by this huge rolling pin. Next thing I knew, this UFO took us to an alien planet, where they fixed us up. You're kidding. Oh, I had the same dream. That's impossible. Robots don't dream. Wait a minute. You don't think... I get the funny feeling. This star chariot is more than it appears to be. Yeah. And what happens when Venom decides to come back and try for it again? I do hope that answers your question, dusty old chap. I guess we'll never know what message that ship held for our world. When the eggs are disturbed, the bird makes a new nest. Birds? Oh, where? Oh, I have enough troubles with frogs. No, t -Bob. What Bruce means is the star chariot isn't gone. It's found a safer home. Look, the arrowhead. When all of the Miles Mayhems of this world are gone, I think it may finally reveal its secrets. Hey, look at the great dog. Come on, pal. Let me pet you. Careful, Scott. You know that dog? No, but he's so friendly. You have to be careful. He could bite. Remember, you're a stranger to him, too. Uh, Alex ought to know. He owns a pet store. Thanks for the tip. I won't pet any strange dog. That's the best way to keep a dog a kid's best friend. Next, the T-Bob, of course. 